Well, here we are this morning, bright and early at the National Pike Steam Show. Checking out everything for everybody gets here. Here's your little cat D4. It's what, what I came for. What you came for. <laughs> Can't live without. I don't see too many different things. Go up here and check them out. A little dirt pushing. And a little northwest has been digging. It's cool to think all of this sat on a salesman's yard. <laughs> oh, at one brand time. Brand new. Exactly. And somebody came in excited. Be like, buy. I want this. Long time ago. This what yours is supposed to look like? Uh, that one's a model series newer. That's a <laughs> L, mine's a K. But yeah, pretty much looks the same. Mine's probably a little more wore out. I got, I got a bigger bucket though. Got another one. You know what's better than 197, 1977? Two of them. Got a big Terex loader over here. A little Euclid. They were driving that around last time. A, a big one. There's the, the, the twin engine Euclid dozer over there. It's got two engines on it. Check that. Side by side. Look like they'll be running that later. Oh, this is an open station unit. First air conditioned loader they ever made. So, yeah, I know you're like six and a half feet six tall. Four. Six four on the seven foot tall tire. That's a big old girl. Oh, I believe she's one hose blow away from a busy afternoon. Go down to Napa. Be like, you got any of these hoses? They're only inch and a half. Mm. <clears throat> only eighty three hours. Brand new. Brand new. Right off the lot. Sold. Sold. There's your little scraper pan back there. <laughs> Behind the scenes with Matt and his Crocs as he takes off before I can get the camera recording. <laughs> Well, that one looks familiar. Familiar. Well, this looks kind of familiar. Well, this is Matt's 22B. Pretty much like my drag line, except for it's the uh, shovel version. This and is the yeah, he's, what do you say? That one was 5,000. Mine sticks out. I have another one that goes on top of that, which is probably another five or 6,000. Yours needs it though. It needs it though, because I decided to put all the boom they gave me on it and my lack of operating skills needed it because uh yeah it'll get a whole bucket full though and it doesn't doesn't try to tip or anything so i'm pretty sure if i just had the factory counterweight it'd be a little a little more tippy and then i think he's got his d8 over there as well well there'll be some stuff here running later on
What'd you say there, buddy? It's loud. Very loud. That's the nice thing about mine. I, uh, it's diesel and I can just turn this, yeah, a little newer. It's getting it started. It's a little relentless. Did we ever figure out what this, what does that lever do? Mine's over here. Okay. Slightly different then. Mine's a... Safety first. Which one engages the clutch? This one or that one? Oh, so okay, it's opposite then. All right, well, we got Matt's uh, Lorraine here. Actually, last time I came up here, we actually uh, went and rescued it, got it on the low boy, and they brought it here. And uh, it's got a broke cable for the uh, bucket there. We're going to restring that after he gets it jump started and raise the boom up a little bit so we can uh, get to the pulleys there. Grease, it works wonders. Got it. Ooh. Batteries are overrated when you have jump boxes. We got portable batteries. Portable batteries. I brought mine just for, you know, giggles. Yours is a lot farther away. It is a lot farther away. Yeah, I don't think we're going after yours. Well, if that one dies, we will. Well, you want me to take the oil bottle off the exhaust? It'll blow it off. It'll blow it off eventually. There we go. Got it. Not liking it. It didn't like it that day we went and got it either. Shocking. You're gonna be able to do that by yourself. All right, so the replacement cable, we need 56 foot of this. What size is this? Three quarter. Keep on going. <laughs> Here.
36. What 20. do we need? 54, right? That's 37. We need some more. Watch them amps now. Not a one-man show, that's for sure. No, for sure. Never is. Man, you can let the machine do all that work. What's that? And wouldn't it make life a little easier to string it through there? Look. Which side came undone first? That side. Your that would, side. That would be my side. <laughs> we both pointed at each other. <laughs> We're going to need your help again. You got one more hurdle there, buddy. Yep. Come on now. You gotta get so, through that I'm thing. I'm trying to wear the gloves to keep the the wire out of my fingers, and the first thing I do is grab your wire brush with my thumb. She'll <laughs> get you every time. Did somebody put that in there where the where I Oh you gotta go back. Hold on, bud. I'm you gotta here. go behind oh, two okay. of those. You yeah, didn't you it. didn't tell me about the damn I figured you could use your eyes. I can't see that far. I think he has sunglasses off. This ain't South We gotta Carolina. take his drag line from him. Safety first here. Pull it back a little more. Let him up. Oh, right. Take it clear off the machine. Yeah, hell, just scrap it at this point. Scrap it. Who buys this old junk? Go for it. You did. No. Hold Push. On. There you go. I had it where it needed to go, and you're trying to take it away. Ah, uh, it's hard to find good help. Good. Hey, or any help at these days. He's here. He's trying. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to fire free help. I tried. That's why. That's why we help them on the weekend. <laughs> you have any idea what you're doing over there? 
It's a lot of poking and snatching and oh yeah, we got a something now. Where are we coming out of right there? Oh, good indication. All right, go for it. Better off pushing it in with that back side of the hammer. Look at that. Good job, Chris. Just need it. <laughs> got it. But we didn't come here to work. <laughs> what? What happened? I didn't loop it through the shed. So we need to pull it back out? Yep. I was going to ask you if you had a rig right. God dang it. Here we go. Well, we practiced. We practice, mate. Perfect. We're going to come back in a second. Round two. Amateur. I know. Do, do I need to show y'all how to do this? Amateur hour over here. Here, let me hold on. Amateur hour over here. There we go. Oh. Pull it back just a little bit. All right. Hold on, pull it back. Go for it. Alright. Go for it. Alright. Look how much better we are the second time. It's like we practiced the first time. There we go. All in one. Alright, so on this time we'll run it around that bully. Yeah, that's what we got to go plan. That's good for now. It's probably going to be nice. So. Alright, cable is in. It's in the drum. Jump box. Where is the jump box? Get a try again. Alright, cable's fed through into the drum. We're going to start winding on the drum. Need some help. Watch your foot now.
No, you're good. You got five foot. State of the art. I like to see the old pictures like in downtown where they're like laying the stormwater pipes in the back. And they probably were wood pipes. Dig the dirt and dump the dirt. We're back in the pay dirt, baby. We're back in the pay dirt. Oh, easy on, easy on those sticks there, driver. In my drag line, none of those lock in. Yeah, that's a problem. Yep, it makes me have to work a little extra. That's why it's hard to do anything and swing at the same time, because you got to hold those. power some wet heavy dirt today. it is it's rained a lot up here this year hasn't it easy on my cable yeah gotta get all the dirt out that's the, the 1950s bag of your bucket <laughs> Until everything goes smooth until you start filming. Yeah. And then well, it gets erratic. Like after I start to get comfortable with it. Like when I'm not thinking about it, it's fine. Yeah. All right, the haul trucks are on the way. So, on the way. yeah, so get hurry it. up. Get some dirt. Yeah.
world's largest adult sandbox. It is. This could be me if we uh, felt froggy enough to put the clamshell on my drag line. We could do that tonight. Maybe not tonight. <laughs> I don't think I have enough cable. I don't know. Yeah, I would because the drag cable's longer than the hoist. I'd have something tore oh. up. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> I'll have me about a 40 foot deep hole in the pond. You would. Oh, we got a little mud down there. People just don't realize like this is what was modern and this is, when this rolled up on a job, it, this, it was a good day. This is what got it done. So that's what the reel's for. It keeps the bucket yeah. from spinning around in circles, yeah. Crazy. crazy. All the dirt. Yeah, I'd have the dump truck knocked in half about right now. The headache rate be gone. so quiet when it's steam powered steam built america people need to remember that mm. when all you had was a pick and a shovel you were glad to see that well that's straight up yeah. chain in there not like, that's a chain chain, not that's a, like a, a real man's chain. A real chain.
feel like the bucket angle is a little off. Big scoop. Mastered that yet? Cast it, cast it. Uh, I can, I can still, I can drag it in and let it out and cast it, but the levers stick too bad. To, talking about swinging, yeah. And casting, swing. I don't like doing that either. I, I guess too wild for me. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if the levers actually work like they were supposed to. So do, be, you, do you push your levers away from you? To, see that seems like that would blow my mind. Yeah, everything's push away. Did that mess with you? Well, considering I've never used one, <laughs> you kind of get used to it. Well, it's like me on the Northwest, right hand swing didn't bother me because that's all I know. Yeah, mine's left hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. but I've done that a lot. When you cast it, the bucket ends up sideways. Upside, yeah, you're upside down. I did good. I cast it the other day and I got the bar under the bucket. Nice. Stuck. Nice. Took a little bit of finagling to get that undone. I've done some creative things. It's learning. I ordered all new cable. Well, I got it. I went and picked up all new cable for mine. I'm scared to death of breaking a boom hoist cable. Yeah, all mine were, the boom hoists were good, but all the other ones are kind of iffy. I thought, like, well, if they break, it's not the end of the world. The bucket will just fall to the ground. That's true. As long as the boom don't fall. I have heard of one of the boom hoist cable breaking and, and coming back down the boom and coming in the cab with the guys. I, have you broken drag cable yet? I broke on it, but it, I was expecting it to go, you know. All right, well, uh, Diesel Creek said he was ready for dinner, so uh, we're gonna jump in the truck, go get dinner. It's been a blast. Kyle's hungry. We picked up a buddy. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're at the end of today's festivities and we're gonna go eat dinner and head back to uh, North Carolina tomorrow.